Hi guys, so this is like the third or fourth take. This is just an intro of what this video is about. So here we go. The purpose of this video is for our project and marketing. And we are supposed to be interviewing a famous entrepreneur or someone who provides, um, who sells products and services. So I decided that it would be a great chance for me to interview my friend Farhana Izani. She sells desserts such as uh, and pastries such as brownies and cakes. Thank you, Farhana Izani, for letting me interview you. That's all. So if you want to watch the interview, I hope you do. Cause my mom helped me a lot, and my friend helped me a lot. So please do watch it. Thank you. Okay, first of all, uh, just introduce yourself. My name is Farhana and I sell cakes and some other desserts like macarons and brownies and pobobas uh, and I'm based in Bukit Chutung, Chahalang. First, uh, how did the idea for your business come about? It actually came by accident. I wanted to have macarons and at that time, like 6-7 years ago, it wasn't as available as they are now. So I wanted to try making them and then I, I learned them in a class and I posted pictures of it and friends and even strangers started asking to order and I thought, oh, this is a good way to make I just continued baking and then I started to find my passion and I thought okay let's just bake for, for I guess for a living. Yeah. Uh, what was your key driving force to become an entrepreneur? It was mainly passion and also um, the fact that I, I had to find my own money because we were having some financial struggles and I had to find my own money to you know, because I was in private college and the lifestyle in private college is really expensive. <laughs> I really needed the money, so that was actually my driving force when I first started. But now it's really my passion and seeing people enjoy your, your products and your cakes. So basically, my parents helped a lot. Even though they were having their own struggles, um, they still tried to send me to classes. And I also had friends who were willing to just assist me. Okay, the last question is, what's customer? I have to say it's not really something new, but it's, uh, it's something classic. My three best sellers are Victoria Sandwich, Chocolate Cake, and Pandang Gloom Laka. So they're not, oh. something, they're not something unusual, but people keep coming back for it. For, for something new, I guess people like my Ferrero Rocher Cake. So any, mm -hmm. any last words to the viewers out there? <laughs> this is a really challenging uh, time for you to start baking actually, because when I first started, there were not so many home bakers like there are now. So it was really easy. Maybe in Shahalam, they probably just know me and a few others. But now, they are everywhere. Probably more than five in Bukit Jalutong alone. So you have to really be unique. Be really passionate about your job so that uh, you don't give up easily. And you really have to try many, many things so that you know what works for you. So yeah, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that you have something new. <laughs> new idea. <laughs> no new ideas now. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Didn't see you there. But today, <laughs> about their. <laughs> okay. Awesome. That's it. Um, keep on watching. <laughs>